growing problem. Garbage. Not the garbage that you see every day. No, this is space junk. Don't forget to click the like button if you enjoy this video and subscribe if you want to see more like this one. And click the bell if you don't want to miss another episode of Kids in the Spring because that would be sad. Recently, a Chinese space station, Tiangong 1, came crashing back to Earth. Most of it burns up in the atmosphere, but over 700 kilograms of it came smashing into the Pacific Ocean. The Chinese said that they always planned for the space station to come back to Earth, but now it's just more garbage in the ocean. The International Space Station has to actually push itself out into space every once in a while so it does not fall back to Earth. That made us wonder how much space junk is out there that could come crashing back to Earth. In 1957, the Soviet Union sent up the first satellite called Sputnik. It was the size of a beach ball and that started the space race. The oldest satellite still in orbit is Vanguard 1. It was launched in March of 1958. It stopped working in 1964. There are currently 1,100 active satellites in orbit as well as 2,600 that don't work anymore. In total, there are estimated to be 170 million pieces of space debris in orbit. The pieces could be the size of a truck or the size of a walnut. The amount of space in space is getting smaller. As I practice my bobbin weave, here's Nellie with the weather. Seriously, the sky is falling. Thank you, Nellie. Watch out! So as I was saying, the amount of available space is getting much smaller in Earth's orbit. Add to that, these satellites are traveling 10 times faster than a bullet. Pew, pew. That is a big problem. Imagine two satellites hitting each other. There will be nothing left. And also most satellites are worth millions of dollars and it costs between 50 to 500 million dollars to launch it. That is a lot of money for your satellite to be smashed to bits. There have been a number of satellite collisions in recent years and the problem is just getting worse. Have a look at this map. It shows all the satellites and space debris in orbit. It really gives you a clear picture that something has to be done. Thankfully, some people are trying to do something about the problem. SpaceX has started using some reusable rockets that return to Earth instead of adding to the space junk. To watch our video about SpaceX, click this link. Another company has invented a small spacecraft that would pull space junk down into the atmosphere to burn up. Another idea is to use magnets to catch satellites that are not working anymore. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram at Kids News Break to solve our puzzle to get a shout out in an upcoming video. Do you have any ideas to clean up space junk? Let me know in the comments down below. To watch this video in French, click here. To learn something a little different, click here. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you next time.